Hello everyone, my name is Doug Bassett. I'm the Senior Microsoft Instructor here at Stormwind Epic Live. And today we're going to talk about Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager. System Center Configuration Manager is a replacement for the old SMS server that we all know and love. I used to do SMS consulting and training for people like um, you know, IBM Global Services back in the day. But System Center Configuration Manager is a lot more powerful and I'm really excited because Microsoft has released a release candidate that you can download and try. Now, why am I so excited? Well, you know, the product's not going to be released until right around April of this year. However, you can go up to Microsoft's website here, up at Microsoft.com, do a search for Configuration Manager 2012, and you can go ahead and download it. Now, the reason that I'm so excited about this, uh, this release is that it shows you Microsoft's realization that it's not just a Microsoft world. The System Configuration Manager now has a capability of going in and actually managing not only your Microsoft devices, your Windows 7 and Vista, like there's a lot of Vista out there in the enterprise, XP machines, all of that, but you can also go through and manage your mobile devices. With mobile devices, I can have a, um, an iPhone, or I can have a Blackberry, or I can have your uh, Microsoft Windows phone, and I can go in and I can do all sorts of configuration management. Now, one of the things that you can do is you have the ability to provision these devices. For example, um, you can go in and you can turn off the camera that says, hey, you know what, this is a, a company phone. We're in a secure environment. We're going to make it so that the camera isn't going to work. And then if they go in and they pull out their camera and they're trying to take snapshots, well, you know what, it's controlled by the company. You're not going to be able to do that. Uh, System Center brings a lot to the table. You have the ability to go in and you can do all sorts of things like uh, uh, have a world-class inventory where I can go in and find out what systems I actually have in my environment. I can do update managements. This is where you can use WSUS servers to be able to go in and ensure that all the service packs and hot fixes and feature packs and all that's on there. And it also makes it a lot easier because it's going to embrace what we've seen with Exchange 2010 which is role-based administration. I don't have to go in and say, okay, I have this server and this server and this server and this server, so I have to manage these permissions and then manage these permissions. And you don't do that based upon resource access and access control list. Instead, you're going to do role-based management that allows you to say, I want you to be a, uh, an administrator over this particular portion. For example, Exchange. I can go in and I can say, you're going to be an Exchange admin. And as I add additional ser uh, servers out there, I don't have to go through and reset all the permissions. SCOM's going to let you do that automatically. So I can just assign you to a role, and throughout all the servers in my environment, you're going to have that role. So the combination of being able to manage mobile devices, which is probably the most exciting part to me, and being able to embrace role-based administration means that this, uh, this brand new version of System Center is going to be awesome.